Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1386 VBA picture comments. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Well, okay, now this goes all the way back to when I used to be a regular guest on Call for Help on Tech TV. I showed how to do these pop up pictures. And then I think in a subsequent blog post, I talked about how to add those with VBA. Because think about it, if you have a price list with 50 items, you don't want to go through and do the steps over and over and over again. What are the steps? Oh, here are the steps. Okay, so you have a cell and you have to insert a comment. So insert, or is that reviewing? Geez, I don't even know. Yep, new comment. And you backspace through all the words in that comment. All right, and you see right now you have diagonal lines. You need to click on the diagonal lines or press Control Enter to select and make it dots. All right, then we want to format that. So Control One under Colors at the bottom of all the colors there are fill effects and then picture and then select picture and insert the picture. Click OK, click OK, click away. When they hover, they get the picture. All right? Cool. Now VBA. Back in Excel 2003, there was one set of VBA, and that's no longer working now in Excel uh, 2010 and presumably 2007. So let's switch over to um, the Developer tab here, Visual Basic. All right, we'll have to try and make this smaller. Actually, what I'll do is I'll add a uh, continuation character here. Uh, it used to be that we could just go to the the cell dot comment and dot fill with the user picture method and specify what the uh, picture was. And you see here, I'm actually building it. So I know that it's always in this folder. I'm using the value from the cell itself and then uh, concatenating dot JPEG. And that used to work. But now in Excel 2010, I can't get that to work anymore. So I turned on the macro recorder and it's operating on the shape range. That's new. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't seem to get it to work without selecting the shape range. And I can't select the shape range unless I make the comment visible. So what used to be a nice little two-line macro has now become this big whole thing. So uh, for each cell in the range, I add a comment. Uh, the comment dot text. The text is nothing. Uh, I make the comment visible, and then select the shape associated with the comment. Then finally, I get to do selection dot shape range dot fill dot user picture. Build the uh, path and file name of the picture. Uh, and now I have the comment selected. I don't want to do that, so I go back and select the original cell and then make the comment not visible anymore. All right, so let's run this code and we'll go back to Excel. You see that now we have the little red triangle indicators and for each item we have the pop-up picture. All right, so this is a repeat. We've done this before on the podcast, but not in Excel 2010 and unfortunately uh, the code that we did when we did it back in Excel 2003 back in the tech TV days it has changed. So um, got a note from Andrew. Andrew was trying to do this uh, at work. Code wasn't working and uh, just kind of updating the current situation. This is code use. Thanks to Andrew for sending that question in. Thanks to you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.